Inside Chris and Jessica's house, there's a lot of love. For a seven and a half month old that loves to move. Yes, he does. That smile belongs to Peyton, and he loves to eat. Now I'll probably cry because it's gone. But feeding him has been tough from the very beginning. When I got the call, I, I mean, nobody wants to hear that their child has something wrong with them. Peyton has a rare genetic disorder called phenylketonuria, also known as PKU. It is seen in one in a thousand births. It's caused by a defect in the gene that helps create the enzyme needed to break down an amino acid found in protein. As a result, the little guy must stick to a strict diet that includes very little protein. If the diet isn't adhered to... He could become severely um, disabled, um, mentally sick, um, and obviously the most severe would be death. It's hard to think about that. Jessica left her job to personally measure out all of Peyton's foods. She says this can of special formula costs over $50 and usually only lasts Peyton three days. It's not a prescription drug. It's, it's a prescribed food. And Jessica and Chris say their insurance won't cover the costs of his food, and the bills are piling up. PKU exists. You know, it's, it's rare, and it's... There needs to be more done. It's difficult to think about his future. In Baldwinsville, I'm Brett Hall.